Oh, communication. Mm. Communication. Yep. You know, yeah. I have this uh, thing I've figured over the years. Mm-hmm. I believe that while you can break down sex as a very complicated concept and you can yeah. keep improving at it, there's two basic ground rules or ground concepts when it comes to great sex. Mm-hmm. One is speak about sex mm-hmm. in non-sexual scenarios. Yeah. In a very mm-hmm. non-sexual way. When you're talking to a girl who you have a platonic relationship mm-hmm. with, who's your friend, if she's talking about sex, don't don't look at her in a dirty way. Yeah. I just talk about the subject. It doesn't have, don't bring the emotion yeah. in it. You'll get yeah. to learn a lot. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Especially from women. Yeah. And many guys are not capable of that. Yeah. Because the moment sex comes out of a woman's mouth, they yeah. start visualizing yeah. about that woman. That's yeah. how guys... Yeah, and they think they're loose and they're... Exactly. I had a woman who said, Luke, you know, I feel slutty at times because mm-hmm. I'm turned on. The guys are going... It doesn't make me a slut. And... I was like, yeah, wow. Mm. Just listen to her. She's like, I feel that. You guys, you all feel horny. You all feel like you're like animals. You all want to jump on us and stuff. We respect that feeling if you respect us the same way you respect us. Mm. If I want to feel dirty, talk dirty in bed, it's because I'm turned on. Mm. But I do that and I'm termed as a slut. Mm. And now no matter how good the guy is, I will never ever come with yeah. that guy again or yeah. orgasm with that guy again. So you see, you're, you're very right about that. Yeah. You, when you talk about it, don't look at that person. If a woman is being vulnerable and talking about her sexual fantasies, a lot of guys say, oh, wow. And they start fantasizing that they're mm. going to be with that girl and stuff mm. and they mess it up all over there. Mm. 